I am not usually in a place where I can show my face because I'm trying to hold the camera or do stuff, but I'm here on the table and I had the camera tilted down, which I'm going to do, but I thought I would say hi first um, before I start my video. And this is going to be a video about these lovely little babies. Okay. Mostly kind of items that I have here. There's a few lithops right on the end. But other than that, these are what I am potting up today. And I'm just here on my kitchen table. And I've got some various size pots, some shorter ones, and a few taller ones. And some potting mix. And what I use for these um, is a mixture of pumice, uh, vermiculite, which is a popped volcanic rock. So it is not an organic material. So um, lithops and conophytums, etc., do pretty well um, in them because. In, sorry, I got distracted <laughs> in vermiculite because um, it's really porous. Just getting some to show you here. This is this is my potting mix for these guys. I changed it up a little bit um, since I'm potting these right before winter, um, making it a little bit lighter than I usually do. But the vermiculite is really light and it helps aerate the soil. It also helps the pots not be super heavy, which is awesome. And it holds a little bit of water, but dries out really quickly. So it's not quite, you know, um, not as heavy as sand. A lot of people uh, like using sand in their mixture. Um, here where I am in Northern Idaho, I, I don't like to use sand um, in my potting mix very much. It just, it just weighs it down too much for me. Um, I'm just peeling a little bit of the dead, completely dried husks off of these before I plant them so they don't trap any water um, around the base. You don't have to pull these off, um, and if they're, you know, attached at all, go ahead and leave them. But if they're really nice and dried, you can go ahead and pull them off. Um, they, they can make a little kind of a paper cup. You can see here um, around the edge and hold water when you water them if you water them from the top. And so I like to clean them up and remove them and I just think it looks pretty when they're nice and cleaned up. So um, I'm just making this video because there aren't hardly any videos online about or on YouTube anyways, that I can find about conophytums, at least that are in, in English. I don't know if most of the collectors are just overseas or if um, the collectors are just not YouTubers or what. Um, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. <laughs> I just started making these to keep track of stuff for myself and then to answer a few questions for some friends <laughs> and then yeah um, but I thought you know what I'm gonna make a video showing this potting and just talking a little bit as I can think of things to say about these guys um, because it's been really hard for me finding info especially when I first started so Hopefully this will help someone else. But I really love these guys. Conophytums, I don't know, they're just, ah, they're just such a weakness of mine. Um, the lithops are amazing and they are totally also a weakness of mine. But these little guys, they have such cute shapes all the way from hearts to just little beads to bunny ears. Um, and they're just so fat and happy and the flowers are so cute. These guys just finished blooming like lithops. They uh, bloom from the little crease here. 
um, lift lips bloom from their little crease and again if the flowers are hard to pull off then don't do it but if they're really dried up like these and they just easily come off you can just totally remove them and clean up your plants this guy is a conifitum sorry moving around conifitum bilobum sororium sororium oh, sorry the first one was crazy so a conifitum bilobum sororium and I believe the flowers on these guys are pink but they may be yellow I might be uh, mistaken I have quite a few of these guys um, and get them easily mixed up and I have quite a few to pot up so I am potting if you want to know more about my potting mixes, um, I do have a separate video on that where I talk about it. And um, I am using um, coconut husk, <sighs> pumice, and vermiculite in in this particular mixture. Um, the coconut husk is just to give it a little bit of kind of dirt-like texture, and I like it because it tends to do really well, um, a lot better than peat or anything like that with these guys, and um, helps retain a little bit more moisture than just the pumice and, and other um, looser stuff, but not too much, so there's a little bit of that, and then that's the kind of brown that you can see, the potting soil looking stuff, and then the vermiculite, and then pumice. And then I'm potting it up just to where the stems kind of join the base. You don't really know that you can see this here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a top dressing on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do sand with these guys. I don't usually do sand, but I am gonna try sand on a couple of them. Um, but uh, usually I do pumice. So either I'll stick with that or I may try sand um, on a couple of these guys. There's another few little pieces that I missed here. And then that will, the the pumice or sand, either one will kind of help bolster this a little bit. Um, but I don't want to bury them any deeper in the potting mix. So I'm going to set these little guys aside there for now. Um, I put a tiny little piece of, um, you know, paper towel or a little bit of moss or something. Usually moss is what I use and I couldn't, I couldn't find my, um, the moss that wasn't too puffy. Um, but in the bottom just to keep the dirt especially when it's really loose um, stuff like this and the holes are kind of big on um, on these guys so when I water it just tends to make a mess and so I am actually going to plant I have two different lithops here and they're both terry color is the is the um, variety that they are they're terry color is the species sorry and um, this one's a double headed one as you can see and then these two are just two um, other guys and I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up together um, it seems that people are questioning Sorry, got to get myself together here. <laughs> um, how close together to plant lithops a lot and um, thinking that they need more room um, a lot. And they really like to be crowded. They're used to growing in a really small amount of soil, like a little crevice, you know, or um, and they grow in really big clusters um, naturally. And so, I mean, it'll just look like a solid mound of these guys. I mean, they'll just be just just jammed one right after another. And so um, having, you know, in this pot, if I had more, I'm, I'm going to keep the varieties separate. But if I had more of this variety, you could totally put a few more in, you know, when they start um, multiplying, you might need to take them out. But this can fill up with lithops before you would really need um, to repot it. Um, so that's just a little a little thing I wanted to mention. Um, 